This week marks one full year since Shawnee County last had a jury trial. The pandemic suspension has created a backlog that has judges, attorneys, defendants, and victims in limbo, and it could take years to catch up. This disruption is going to be the challenge of my career. Shawnee County Chief Judge Richard Anderson says a full year without jury trials is taking a toll. Ordinarily, each felony judge would have about 150 predisposition cases, meaning pending for trial. Now each of them has 300 cases. How do you catch up? Well, uh, one case at a time. It's not just the judges. The Shawnee County District Attorney's Office typically files about 2,700 adult criminal cases a year. In 2019, 95% of them were resolved. In 2020, it dropped to 56%. Some cases get resolved early. Some cases only ever get resolved in the shadow of a jury trial. DA Mike Kage says his office carried 1,200 cases into 2021 and more come in every day. He says it won't only strain resources, but victims and witnesses. To ask someone to come in a year later, two years, three years later, maybe, to revisit the trauma that brought him here in the first place, it's a difficult thing to do. Memories tend to dissipate over time. Things become cloudy. The farther this goes, the murkier that becomes. Also caught in the backup? people accused of crimes. Uh, we have been running at maximum capacity for quite a long time. Maven Wright, deputy public defender for Shawnee County's 3rd Judicial District, says as cases have backed up, they've had to contract out more cases to private attorneys at a higher cost to taxpayers. She says they've worked to ensure people accused of lower-level offenses are able to bond out and not be waiting out their delays behind bars. She says most clients understand the situation. The defendants have the right to a speedy trial, but they also have the right to a fair trial. They have the right to be represented by an attorney and they have the right to a public trial, a jury that represent, is a fair representation of the community. Shawnee County is poised to bring the gavel down again. The state approved their 90-page plan to safely resume jury trials. The first are set for April 5th and 12th. And we had to address everything from um, how we're going to summons the jury, what kind of questions are going to be asked, how sidebars are going to take place when a, attorneys want to visit with a judge at the bench during the course of a trial, um, bathroom breaks. The plan includes physical changes. Courtrooms are outfitted with plexiglass barriers. Jurors will be spread out in the jury box or around the courtroom. X's marked distance spots on bench seating. Larger jury pools may utilize Ag Hall and Heritage Hall for selection. And at the courthouse door, Have a, great day. Thank you. a screener takes temps and asks questions. They'll also utilize more technology with electronic exhibits and each juror getting an iPad so there's no passing paper. Plus, people will complete an initial jury questionnaire online. It lessens the amount of time people are in the building. Anything we can do to reduce the number of people that come into the building is, is going to be a benefit. All told, it's a $300,000 investment of CARES Act funding. But money can't buy more days on the calendar. My best estimate is we will not be through this pandemic disruption, this tsunami, uh, for two years. That's if all goes as planned. Already a scheduled November restart was scrubbed by a COVID outbreak at the jail and a community spike in cases. And no one knows for certain how all these changes will play out in action. To me, I'm concerned that there are unanticipated issues there that I should be advocating for on behalf of my clients, but I don't know that. So if we're in a position where we're having to learn these things by trial and error, somebody's rights will be affected by that. Everything that you plan for has to change and you have to make judgments as you go along. But all are ready to get started. As I'm sitting here right now, before the before the storm begins, I feel very confident in the personnel that I have. And the court is holding a training session this week for attorneys to get a look at just how all these new procedures will work. The state Senate last night did pass a bill suspending speedy trial requirements while courts catch up. Their date is through May 1st, 2023. The House passed its own version, and that would give them until 2024. So stay tuned on that. And it's not just Shawnee County. Riley County Attorney Barry Wilkerson says his office has a backlog of about 100 cases. He says they have several trials set for later this month and in April. Riley County is exploring using the building that formerly housed the Seth Childs movie theaters to allow extra space for witnesses and attorneys with social distancing. And Douglas County said today it will resume jury trials in April. They may utilize locations at the Douglas County Fairgrounds if larger space is needed.